sun's shining, the birds are chirping, it is quite the happy morning. And what do I see you doing? Having a plain breakfast, some dry ass pancakes, some sloppy scrambled eggs. That's gross, yeah. No, enough. Today, we're trying five different breakfasts from five different countries. I got inspired by Stephanie Buttermore, and by inspired, I mean I just stole her entire idea and didn't even change it a tiny bit. So in today's episode of What is the Walnut Doing? We're trying out five completely different breakfasts that I have never cooked before. To be honest, for breakfast, I normally make Nick nothing. I don't care. I'm not, I don't cook, I don't clean. Unless this is the 1950s and he's going to war for me, then in that case. I do the cooking, yes, I do the cleaning. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Hear more about them later. Molly rocks in my, in my green, green. <laughs> I picked the Netherlands. My cousins went to college there and I don't know how their college experience was, but I had a great time partying at their college home. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Loved it. So these are Dutch pancakes. I ate them a lot when I was hungover and about to die. So <laughs> I have very fond memories of them. They're mm, very good. I love you. Save my life. So the first thing you want to do is whip out your aesthetic but not very functional scale and start measuring the ingredients. I got about this much flour and then here's the kicker, the secret ingredient. It's potato starch. If you don't have any potato starch on hand, I'm sure you can use mashed potato mix, but don't tell anybody I told you. The next thing you want to do is slop some baking powder in it and finally two teaspoons of sugar. You mix all the dry ingredients and then you'll start adding the wet ingredients later. The next thing you want to do is add milk and one egg. I can crack an egg with one hand now. I am a professional. I might get a few eggshells in but the next thing I wanted to brag about is that I know you guys see those YouTubers with those cool KitchenAid mixers that are like $100. I got one of those too recently. I don't know what happened in the mix up but they sent me this one uh, instead. I don't know if I got scammed or what. I thought it was good to give my whole hands a little exercise, use all of my fingers, because typically when I'm doing stuff, I only use the first two fingers. I don't know why. <laughs> then you proceed to add a little butter in. I started manually mixing this around, and when you get a nice, liquidy, but not too thin batter, it's time to prepare the ingredients that you're putting on top. On top, I'm putting some floury leaf things, pine nuts, turkey bacon, garlic oil, and goat cheese. I'm sure you guys are thinking, B, how are you gonna make garlic oil? You don't know how to make that. Yes, I do. There's only two ingredients, garlic and oil. So I'm taking a large clove of garlic. I'm gonna smash the pieces violently and chop them up. Try not to chop up my finger. And then after that, all you do is add oil. Ta-da, garlic oil. <laughs> I rub a little bit around the pan and then it's finally time to pour the pancake. While our pancakes are cooking, I have some fun antidotal stories from my time in Holland. Also, one time my cousin was doing a paper on American history and she asked me to write her paper for her and I did and I got an F. So if you're wondering if school is harder in Amsterdam than it is in America, no, I'm just stupid in both countries. <laughs> After that excellent story time of plagiarism and failing classes and having to retake exams, <laughs> our pancakes should be about cooked. Feel free to call your friends and tell them about a time you were a bad human being like me. I flip the pancake, add the microgreens onto I, I hate microgreens. First of all, they don't taste good. Second of all, they're expensive. Third of all, they're just for no reason. That was my angry rant on microgreens. Now that I've got that out of my system, I slowly pat together the goat cheese. You want it to be a nice, perfect circle. And finally, there you have Dutch pancakes for breakfast. Served at Pancakes Amsterdam, one of my favorite touristy spots. I feel like a chef. I had some struggles in there. A little bit of a mess was made, but nonetheless, we made this beautiful goat cheese pine nut, bacon, and flour Dutch pancake. And I just want to taste, mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> Habanero, spicy salt. I put this shit on everything. This shit is my daddy. All my stomach normally gets is water, iced coffee, but it always comes topped with ghost pepper. So whatever I put in my stomach, my stomach's like, why is it spicy? <laughs> The kitchen afterwards was not looking that great, but neither was I. 
Day two, Germans. I picked this because you guys actually requested it. This was the most requested country with over 5,000 requests. I don't know why you wanted me to do it so bad, but a lot of you sent me photos of German breakfast and I kind of saw a lot of things in common. There were eggs, cold cuts, vegetables, cheeses. So what I did is whip out my pot and started boiling some eggs. I then got this healthy German walnut protein bread because I've been really into cannibalism lately. Also, I feel like Germans are a little bit more health conscious than other countries in Western Europe, but I don't know if that's true, so feel free to roast me in the comments if you're German. Also, if you have a friend from any of these countries, send them this video so they can make fun of me um, about all the mistakes I make, and then they can text you, and you guys could have a nice bonding session bullying me. So I noticed that a lot of Germans eat cucumbers for breakfast. I think they magically cut them up. They also eat tomatoes and other vegetables. I also picked a, some German brand cheese cheese and meat so I could see if they tasted any different and to be honest no they taste the same as other packaged cheese and meats I really like bologna it's really delicious I saw that Morgan Adams also likes bologna so I'm um, really excited to bond over that one day I then added a nice healthy serving of butter on the side from what I've seen from German breakfast on Pinterest they're really into meats cheeses eggs uh, dairy they don't have any like issues with that I don't see a lot of like vegan almond milk egg replacement alternatives but I could be wrong feel free to correct me down below day three I decided to step out of my comfort zone and cook something from India Hello, good morning guys it's Sunday and I'm just shutting the door so I don't wake up thick daddy Nick while Nick is sleeping we've got two objectives number one is clean up this mess so you guys don't see it <laughs> And two, we're cooking an Indian type of breakfast this morning. So I picked to do this um, on Sunday. So I had extra time because I did not want to mess it up. I have never actually cooked anything Indian and I know it's a really big area. Um, so there was a lot of options, a lot of really yummy looking options. If you're Indian and you send this to one of your friends who's Indian, you guys are both lacking because this is really difficult to cook. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, my shirt's on. Okay. Um, well, before we start cooking, I have one last question to ask you guys. My hair is white blonde right now. It's literally white. Like, I got it so light. Um, look at my white nails. Like, my hair is almost that color. Should I dye my hair back to brown so, like, I can stop killing it with bleach? Or should we leave it white? Let me know what you guys think. This is how my hair looks. I can't decide. I just don't want to look like Debbie Ryan. Okay, so I got this recipe from PlayfulCooking.com. It is a woman named Can Kana, um, and this is what I got it from. She, This is a recipe for Alu Palak Paratha. I really like her because the photos are really beautiful. I'll put them up right here. And then also the ingredients don't look like they're too difficult. And she just explained it really easily and excellently. So if you are looking for something Indian to cook, I really do recommend her blog. It says that Alu Palak Paratha is a carb in a carb. It's basically a comfort food. It looks like the easiest way to describe it to someone who doesn't know anything about Indian food to me is like some kind of wrapping like pita bread or like a tortilla. Like that's the shape of it with potatoes on the inside with some fresh spinach in between. It says it's often served with yogurt on the side and a dollop of butter, some pickles. Pickles. In the photos, it looks like cucumbers, red onions. So I got all that in the fridge. So to make the dough of this, you need a couple really simple ingredients. Flour, cumin seeds, and water. A little bit of salt and a little bit of oil and you just mix that all together and make a dough you could be very professional and knead this dough with your phalanges but they, you're watching the walnut channel not disney channel girlfriend <laughs> don't dr dream smaller okay while your dough is resting feel free to prepare the ingredients you need on the inside by the way i'm gonna write ingredients and stuff in the description box so you guys can just screenshot them so you don't have to like sit there here and take notes unless you want to take notes in my videos but i would find that very creepy but i did have everything else i needed which was ginger onion garlic pepper she recommended to put two spicy peppers but I didn't really feel like incinerating my taste buds before noon so I just put one I chopped up the onion and I chopped up the rest of the stuff very quickly I put the filling of our dish to cook and then it was time to mess with the dough again I put way too much flour down rolled it into a dick shaped form and started separating it into pieces this recipe was supposed to make six pieces but I made the recipe a little bit smaller because the only person eating in here is me and Nick I rolled out the dough like I wish I could roll out my own fats and 
spread oh my gosh can you imagine if we could make ourselves taller by just rolling out that would be so cool surprisingly you would think that when you put the mixture in you can't roll it out and you would think that it would they would pop out like a toaster strudel or some kind of pop tart situation but no they just go completely flat and nothing comes out i was actually very surprised i fried these up with a little bit of ghee i'm getting a little bit worried because i think i should have cooked them on the inside and i didn't so here's hoping that they actually come out cooked because I'm very stressed. A few moments later. And finally, it was time to serve our Indian breakfast. Please feel free to send this to a friend who is Indian and let me know what your critiques are. Do you think this is horrible? Do you think it's okay? Let me know the truth. Feel free to make me more famous than T-Series. I respect that. I love you. XX. Kisses. I'm going to taste this now. Mmm. Wow. Someone added a lot of ginger. Oopsie. So much flavor. I've eaten stuff like this before. I think I did a pretty good job. Mmm. I'm wearing my engagement ring today because it matches my jewelry because I did all silver. Also, sometimes I don't wear it and I get a lot of questions. <laughs> One, Nick knows I'm engaged to him if I take off my ring or not. And two, it's really sharp around the edges so it gets caught on my clothes, on my face. I've cut my face before with it. Um, I don't know why it's like so sharp. So that's why I don't really wear it when I'm cooking. Sometimes I fling my rings into things. Um, when I'm washing my hands, I don't like to get it dirty. So it's like, I kind of like hold it like it's a little baby and I protect it. I don't like wear it every day. Just on special occasions or when I get like dressed up and I feel really pretty. So yeah, that's why I don't wear it every day. Um, there's a lot of angry people in my comments about it. I don't know why you're so angry. Just a ring. Are you interested in trying some Indian food? What? Are you interested in trying some Indian food? Oh, yeah. I've made it though, so. Oh, okay. That I'm means it's, it's like shaky. Mm -hmm. on so like, it's authentic Indian food. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nick's bullying me. Nick's a big fucking bully. It's hot. Yeah, babe, uh, that's very authentic Indian. It actually tastes good. There's a tang to it. What is it? What's in there? Hot. Is there a potato in mm -hmm. there? Okay. And then I made a dip with like paprika, chickpeas, yogurt. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm, I feel like I could have added more garlic. Because my garlic to ginger ratio is a little off, but... Really good, though. It's hard to cook Indian because they use like 15 different spices. Do you prefer this over the cereal or the piece of toast they usually throw at you? I like every breakfast you make. Oh. That's the right answer. That's the correct answer, Tate. I don't normally make him breakfast. I make him a coffee. <laughs> I'm like, bye, peace True. out. Day four, I woke up and I wanted to try one of these fancy Australian breakfasts. They have like a culture there of going to these cute fancy breakfast cafes where they serve all these intricate dishes. And I really wanted to make one of them. The one I picked was a strawberry, mint, and dried mandarin dish. Good morning, guys. Today we're doing Australian. I have my hack for being comfy. I mean, I have to iron this, but my hack for getting dressed to go out and being comfy is wearing really loose linen pants. I very gracefully put you guys up on your spot in the kitchen and it was time to cook. So I got out a lot of chia seeds and as you guys told me on my Instagram, I think I used way too many and not enough liquid, but anyway. This recipe is really simple because we're basically just making chia seed pudding. It's chia seeds, coconut milk, and a little bit of water. You can also feel free to add in brown sugar or stevia or honey or any kind of thing. I'm, this kind of looks scary to me because it looks like bugs and it immediately got lumpy and gunky and gushy so I just threw it in the fridge and hoped that it would become better. It, it's the bra straps for me today. Okay, so the next step is to make a strawberry jam and we're hand making them. Unfortunately, the strawberries I got, some of them are good but some of them are getting very hairy. Um. I want to know what good hair oil they're using because they're growing hair really fast. Is it walnut oil? I think I decided to be a way overachiever when I decided to make homemade strawberry jam when I literally could have used the pre-made strawberry jam in my fridge. I got the strawberries, I circumcised them. Circumcised them. And I threw them on top of a stove to cook in a teapot. I actually don't know if this teapot is plastic or glass. I was just hoping it didn't melt. Uh, but if it did, you know, YOLO, live young, die fast or something. 
I added a little sugar to the strawberries and just let them marinate in here for quite the while. I think they were on here for over 30 minutes. I was trying to cook them slowly and not at the highest temperature, which is what I normally cook on. But you guys are like, no, B, don't cook on very high temperature. You're going to burn your food and give yourself food poisoning. And I'm like, I don't care. But my irritable bowels would disagree and tell me to start caring because my tummy hurts all the time. I then squeezed in a lot of lemon. Then I got my chia seed pudding out. It got lumpy and gunky and gloopy really quickly. Finally, it was time to plate my Australian themed breakfast. I got my toppings out on a plate, which consists of some strained strawberries that I hope are not poisonous, some mint leaves, and some mandarin. I put not one, but two scoops of chia seed pudding. A lot of this creamy, strawberry, gloopy jam homemade that I made, and I finished topping it. This is how my Australian breakfast looked. Feel free to send this to our, your Australian friends and be like, what is this girl doing? Should we dislike bomb her video right now? Yes, we should. I'm kidding. Don't, don't use that. <laughs> so this is the Australian breakfast. I don't know why I'm talking like an announcer. Mm. But the chia seed pudding is really good. I feel like I could have put a flavoring in it though, like coconut essence or like rum essence to make it more flavorful. It's the texture for me. It's the disgusting red gloppy color for me. It's the decorations that are really not edible for me. Just kidding, I'll stop being a hater. It's pretty good. It's good. Mmm. I feel like I'm eating a Michelin star $300 version of baby food. Like this is what I imagine you're supposed to feed babies that are like really rich. Like Elon Musk's baby probably eats this instead of like that Gerber's baby food. That's like spinach and potatoes. Cute for Instagram though like. If any of these meals looked really yummy to you but you don't feel like going to the store and buying all the ingredients and researching the recipe and prepping them all, check out our sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh.com is America's number one meal delivery service and I love their recipes. There's something for everyone on their website including low calorie meals, vegetarian options, HelloFresh can also help you eat more sustainably because their pre-portioned ingredients means there's less prep for you and less food wasted every week. It also will fit your lifestyle so you can order extra dinners or extra lunches to your weekly order. You can also add extra protein, add in a yummy meal or some of their best selling garlic bread. If you guys do want to try it out, please use my code WANITS80 to get $80 off, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. Don't forget to use my code WANITS80. Day five and breakfast number five, I wanted to throw it back to my childhood, but I don't want to tell you what it is. I want you to guess. It's a country that eats a lot of this for breakfast. It could be any kind of milk, but guess what they add inside? Cereal, little mini cookies, cookie crisp. This is my favorite type of cereal. This is the traditional American breakfast, cereal and milk. Let me know which breakfast was your favorite. Wanna doubt.